Hi everyone. Let's apologise for the state of me right now. I am doing, today I'm going to do a skincare slash hair care slash evening routine. Kind of all jumbled into one. <laughs> um, I've got my hair wet at the minute, as you can tell. Some of my foundations come off. I, um, I've already, because I'm, I'm going to retouch up my uh, red today as well. Um, so you'll see that probably included in this video. Um, so I've leaned over the bath to just shampoo my hair twice. No conditioner. So it's, this is all ready for a colour to go on. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start with that actually because the red's got to sit on for about 30 minutes whilst I do my skincare so that'll be all right. So I'm just going to pop a little plastic cape around my shoulder so I don't get covered in red hair dye. I've already got an old little vest top on, it's only cheap. So if I get any colour on it, I'm not bothered. I probably won't, but I won't be bothered if I do. Okay. And the red I use is the Bleach London I Saw Red thing. So I'm gonna pop my gloves on real quick. really sad because they're not with the ones so I can't go. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, I have really big hands so getting smaller gloves on is a struggle for me. Last time I did a colour touch up I forgot to put gloves on so my hands were staying red for most of the day. <laughs> so okay first of all I'm gonna just take hair clip and I'm just going to section off about a third of my hair so I just go sort of from my ears round to like a horseshoe style and then I'm not going to bother putting this in a bottle or anything I'm just going to sort of dump it out the best I can so I'm gonna start off with about this much and rub it through. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna just go straight in. And just try and get most of it. I do this. These are only semi-permanent, so they're not as damaging for my hair because my hair is very, very dead. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I do this about every two weeks, round about, say. So, was that English that just came out? I don't think so. Christ. My God. Okay, uh, next section I'm going to take is about... About here, like sort of about an inch from where my eyebrows are, or an inch above, should I say, and just do a little swoopty doop on top. And I'm gonna do this bit in two sections. So I'll take one section and just bring it a bit round to the side, and then try and get more of this out oh okay and This is a really nice colour actually. I'm never too, too bothered if I get my roots. I'm mostly bothered about touching up the ends. 
Oh no, they're ready. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I think I've got all of that. And. something you went everywhere. Okay. And oh, I have a very ready and and make a wipe in a minute. And I've only got a little bit left really in here. So I'm just gonna get just a little bit extra out. These are nice colours, but the only problem is it's the bloody ridiculously hard to get out of the bottle. Gonna take just a little bit extra and just go all over just to make sure I've got everything. Looking good, that looks okay. And then what I do is I just scrape it all up into a little dollop on the head, stick it down, take my gloves off the best I can without getting red everywhere. Although I have already got it all over my arms and somehow on my finger even though I had a gloves on. And then I'll just take a makeup wipe because I can never be bothered to go and actually get like a cloth and just go on the skin where I got it on me, which apparently is everywhere. What is? And I'll try and get like along the back of my neck just to try and get some of it off from around there. I'll never too bothered if I don't. Okay, and I'm just gonna clean off my thing. And I'm going to put a 
lid on the flat bowl and also try and wipe the bottle clean the best I can before I put it away. Ooh. I think I've got it mostly clean. It looks like I've bloody murdered somebody. It's only downside to having red hair, really. Every time you take a shower, you always end up leaving the bath looking like you've killed someone and hit their body somewhere. Okay, I think I'm pretty clear. Now what I like to do is I just have to take my cape and put it over my head, like so. And then I do it like a little bonnet type style. Sorry if this is loud. And then I will let that sit. What time is it now? It is 20 past eight currently. So I will let that sit for about 30 minutes. So I'll wash it off about what, 10 to, 10 to nine. Okay. So next step that I do, um, Okay, so next part that I do, first step in my skincare routine, I will remove my lashes and put them back in their little, their little case thing that they come in. Oh, that is hands down the best feeling ever is taking off your lashes. And I'm going to put them back in their box to put them away okay next I'm going to use this little thing I got this this is elf elf's version of the face halo I believe um I got it for free when I spent so much on elf makeup at boots and I love it so I just I've dampened it with warm water I've got more red on my hands great and all I'm going to do is just start rubbing. My eyebrows had already partially come off from leaning over the bath. Look at that. I'm so fascinated with this thing. And because I got it for free. I'm going to be careful around my hairline purely for the fact that because I've got a red colour on I don't want to get this. It is already stained because of all the makeup but... I'll take it off with it. If you have sensitive skin, maybe I wouldn't recommend this because you do have to do like, it does tug at your skin a little bit, but I really like it. I can usually do sort of one side of my face with one side of this. Okay. <laughs> oh, I've got over hiccups. And then to get underneath my eyes, I just fold it sort of around my finger like that and just go and rub around my eye a bit more to try and get as much of that mascara off as I can and then I'm just going to flip it onto the other side do 
to the other side of my face. I had one of these before, the, um, not one of these ones specifically. I've never owned one of the face halos, but I did have um, the makeup eraser that was like a longer one, like a big long flannel. And they said that one side would remove your makeup, the other side would exfoliate your skin and whatnot. It was good at removing my makeup, but it was really soft and it had a lot more surface area. So I did like that one better than these things, but But I can't knock this one to be fair. It does still take your makeup off even if it looks full. It still gets everything off. My lips are a little bit stained pink from um, the video I filmed earlier, which was Monday's video. Um, that pink lipstick, I had it on for two minutes and it stained my lips pink. So. Okay, I think I'm all off for the most part. I do have my contacts in still. Um, if I plan on doing like face masks, which I've had a few breakouts and a few spots come up last this week, so um, I'm gonna do a face mask tonight just to sort of help with that. Like I've got I've got a couple here, one there. That one that was this still underneath my skin there. I've got, I had a few dotted here, but they seem to have gone down. I've got a couple of little tiny ones on my forehead. Okay, so I'm done with this one. And then I will just chuck that in the wash and it'll be cleaned in the washing machine. Okay, so next I'm just gonna grab a makeup wipe. I use the simple makeup wipes because I find that these ones stay quite they always seem to stay really moist and they don't seem dry and they don't really tug at your skin in my mind and with these I'm going to go a bit closer to my hairline where I didn't want to get with the uh, little I don't even know what you call it little pad thing but with these I just Go over my face and just make sure I haven't missed any bits. I usually do this anyway, if even if I'm using like a facial cleanser to take my makeup off. Um, just to help get rid of any other nitty gritty bits, especially around my nose. In these crevices here, this is where I struggle to get makeup out the most. And I'd also go a lot closer to my eyes. So it did pretty good. There's only a few bits on there. There's not a lot. So that thing, considering it was free, I don't know whether they've still got the deal on, but because I know it was free, really worth it. And I'm sure, I don't know how much they are on their own to buy, but I'm sure it'd be a hell of a lot cheaper than the face halo. Remember, it's Elf's version so I would recommend that. Okay now what I'm gonna do is I've got a wet flannel here so I'm just gonna dampen my skin a little bit because I didn't want to take these into the bathroom to film this. Normally I would do this just over the sink but uh, Try my best to film this here. So I'm gonna use a Neutrogena Refreshingly Clear Facial Wash. I do about one and a half pumps of this. It smells of grapefruit. It's a very, very nice cleanser. I'm just gonna plonk that on my face. 
and just start rubbing. I never take cleansers too close to my eyes purely for the fact that I usually use them when um, I'm keeping my contacts in if I want to do a face mask or I'll go closer to my eyes with them if I haven't got my contacts in but if I have got them in I won't go near my eyes with a facial cleanser purely for the fact that if I get it in my eye and it happens to get behind my contact it could really damage my eye and I don't want to risk that so now I'm just going to wipe it off with a flannel and that will help just get rid of any more makeup that's lying in little crevices there's already a little bit okay so it hasn't done too bad okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove where's my skincare box I'm going to apply um, this one, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, throwing things places now. First off, I'm going to apply the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Detox Face Mask. This is the charcoal one because because I have quite I have really oily skin, so I try to mostly use um, charcoal products. But I know I still should moisturise my skin. I don't purely for the fact that I know how my skin reacts to moisturiser. There's only ever been, I'm applying this with a foundation brush by the way, there's only a few moisturisers that I use that don't seem to make my skin extra oily. And that's the um, simple one I think. That doesn't make my skin oily. Um, some Nivea ones don't but I have to use like a really light moisturiser because if it's a really thick heavy one then my skin will just produce even more oils to sort of, it's as if it's trying to push the moisturiser out. Okay, I'm just going to apply this. If you have sensitive skin, I probably wouldn't recommend these. Um, I don't have sensitive skin because I've just rubbed it a lot with a flannel. It's made it just a little bit tingly on my skin. But that's fine. Now, these masks are really, really good. I would recommend them hands down, purely for the fact that they say that you can get 10 applications out of this, out of this little jar. I've had this one for a while already and I've still got loads left in the corner, if you can see that. I say a little bit goes a long way you easily get 20 applications maybe even could push to 30 sometimes okay so i'm gonna do that i never put it here because that's where it does sting really bad on me so i never put it there and then, and then i'm just gonna wipe that off on my flannel Okay, I always keep this foundation brush as my skincare one. Um, I never use it on anything else. It's always a face mask one. So if you if you want a good face mask, a clay one, go and get this one. Or oh, maybe not the detox one. If you have oily skin, then yes. 
but they have multiple different ones they have like purifying ones and all sorts of things so go and have a look at these they're worth the money i think they're like between like four and six pounds maybe but you get a lot for the money that you pay for now um i'm going to apply a lash and brow growth treatment but i like to kill my lashes first purely for the fact that i don't want it going in my eyes Just a little bit, just so I can see them. Um, this is Lily May Beauty's Lash and Brow Growth Treatment. Um, I'm just going to take just a corner of this and just clear around my brows a little bit. And I can't remember what ingredients she has in this, but I think it says everything on her website and that, but um, I've seen good things with this. And she supplies a spoolie with you as well. So I just dip it in and she says that you don't need an awful lot. So I'm just going to sit and just scrape majority of the product off my spoolie because I don't want a lot. Okay, and then with that I'm gonna go through my brows and I like to rub it back and forth on them just so I know it's definitely in there. Okay. And on the other one try to get them just a little bit more. And then I'm going to do another dunk and wipe off all the excess. And then this one I'm just going to put on my lashes, top and bottom. And just do the sort of same with my, that I did in my brows and just wiggle it back and forth. I'm trying to get it from root to tip. And the eye. Okay. okay, now that they're on, I'm going to make sure the lid's extremely tight on that, I don't want it spilling everywhere. So, now that those are on, I'm just going to pop one of Lily May Beauty's lip hydrates on as well, just to add some moisture into those. I really like these by the way these are really really nice they smell like icing like cake icing so what I'm going to do now um, I'm going to wait till my mask is dry it's already starting here um, I'm going to wait till my mask is dry come back take it off and we'll go from there okay um I'm going to, well, my mask is pretty much all dry now, um, but instead of trying to 
scrub it off with a wet flannel i'm gonna just wash it off in the shower i'm gonna wash my color off as well i've already shampooed my hair so i don't need to do that i just literally rinse the color out and condition my hair but um instead of just using normal conditioner i'll show you, i'll show you actually which shampoo and conditioners i use um now i'm gonna grab my skincare box and because i've got a couple of little spots i'm gonna use the clean and clear advantage is it advantage advantage rapid gel rapid gel um and just pop this on my pores my pores i'll just read the word pores oh my god um, I'm going to put this everywhere that I've got a spot at the minute. Um, it's with purifying and a word I can't say. <laughs> Something salicylic acid, is that how you say it? Helps to reduce the appearance of spots, immediate action and it's oil free. This is by Johnson Johnson. I swear by this stuff. I've had the biggest spots before and it's reduced them by miles. So all I do is just take a little bit and just rub it on a spot wherever I've got one even if they're little there we go and I go on my chin as well okay and personalized skincare this is the brand skin and me um skin and me for louise this i found these guys on facebook i think i saw it because because you know how your phone listens to you right i truly believe that that is true i was talking about getting some new skincare and all of a sudden an advert for this popped up and all it is is a personalized skincare treatment for you so you go on their website and you fill out a questionnaire you tell them about your skin where you want your skin to be like what you want to achieve with your skin um like i think i said on mine how i've got really oily skin and i would like to reduce my pores to help reduce the oiliness of my skin and uh they send you this little tube which is a month's worth um it tells you what date to start it on and what date to use it by i was supposed to use this by the 19th of january but i haven't <laughs> um and it tells you your active ingredients as well i'm not even gonna try and pronounce what ones are in mine i can't even get it to focus oh well um and you get a personal on there it tells you that you get um, a proper dermatologist to look over your skincare questionnaire and they will make up a little tube personalized for you so it has these little these little notches on which tells you each day to use you're going to use it like once a day i think and you just you twist it until you hear a click but it doesn't always click for me put a little one there so then this is all that you use whatever comes out is all that you use for your face i've got a couple of my friends on this as well now i've got my friend lissy on this she really likes it i believe um and i just put a dot on each of my cheeks my chin and my forehead and just rub it in And it feels really, really nice. It's made my skin feel glorious. I love, I love the way it's made my skin feel. Um, and it's only cheap. Like, you pay, like, a monthly fee. I can't remember how much it is. Um, but um, if I find... I'll find a link to their website. Um, 
and uh, put it in the description for you if any of you want to look at it. Um, it doesn't taste nice though, don't eat it. Ugh. Oh, that's pulling on my hair a little bit. Mm. I'm so red. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yes. Okay. So that's pretty much it for my skincare. Um, all I'm going to do now is just blow dry and straighten my hair and that is all I do really. Um, oh, I'll take my contacts out now while I'm thinking about it. Um, got a little contact case there. I'm just going to... Sorted. And I use this solution for my contacts, the one that the opticians give me, and it's never irritated me always. Mm. Fill up the little pots. And pop my, my dirty glasses on. They're all filthy. What I'll do, just in case any of you guys are interested, I will put a list of all the products that I've used in this video down below. Um, sorry, that ring light really does affect your glasses, doesn't it? Oh, that's better. Um, yeah, I'll put a list of all the products that I've used in the description down below. I'll put a link to the Skin and Me website in case any of you are interested. And that is it for today's video. Let me know if this helped. Again, I have oily skin. This is what works for me. Um, I'm not saying any of this would work for you guys. Probably the only thing that I could recommend to anybody else is, is this one because it is personalised to you and to your skincare. Well, to your skin type, should I say. Um, so I'm not saying anything else will work for everybody. But this is just what works for me. This is what I do. I don't do it all every week. Um, I was trying to do this full routine once a week, sometimes twice, depending on how my skin's been. Um, but let me know. Let me know what you guys have thought of this video. If this is something that you guys like to see more of, or if you want me to try out any new products. Um, yeah. Don't forget to check the description for all of my socials and the list of the, of products and for any links. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.